Hi, my name is Angie, and today I'm going to show you how I live outside of my 2016 Toyota Corolla. So let's take a look inside. The first obstacle I needed to overcome was how I would sleep in such a tiny space. I am 5 feet 9 inches tall and was unable to fit lying horizontally in my car. So I removed the back seat of the car and was able to sleep vertically. But I needed to close the gap where the leg room was, so I purchased this contraption off of Amazon that hangs around the back of the front seats. It is sturdy enough to hold my weight when sitting and laying on it, and the best part is that there are dinosaurs at the bottom of it, which is pretty awesome. Underneath, there is plenty of room for storage. This is where I keep my paper products like toilet paper and paper towels, as well as cleaning supplies and things I do not need access to on a daily basis. I also keep eight gallons of water on me, which is plenty of water for one person for weeks. I refill them whenever I am able to at campsites and at national parks. On top, I am able to lay out my mattress, which I made out of my old full-size memory foam mattress topper. I cut it in half, which left me with about four inches of foam, and I sewed my bed sheet around it as a mattress cover, which can come off when it needs to be washed. I can fit perfectly laying down, and the mattress is thick enough that I can sleep comfortably every night. On hot nights, I hang this rechargeable fan from the handle above my head, which provides a nice breeze to keep me cool. It also has an LED light built in, so I can see at night. On the colder nights, I bundle up with my sleeping bag that is good for nights below 40 degrees. I have had a few nights where it got down to the low 30s, and this kept me nice and toasty. On the more moderate nights, I have two comforters that I can use depending on how cold it is, as well as a head pillow and a body pillow for comfort and I still have plenty of room to toss and turn during the night without hitting my legs too, too much. In the small crevice where my back seat used to be, I keep a small library of books to keep me entertained when I am off the grid, as well as journals to document my travels. In the back corner, I keep a variety of tools in case of emergencies. And in the trunk, I keep my pantry, where I store all my dry foods, nuts, protein powders, and canned goods. I have enough food to survive on for weeks if needed. I think I pack too much. Now I am able to change my back seat most mornings, but when I do need to stand up and have some privacy, I have this pop-up tent that I keep under my mattress. This is tall enough for me to stand in, and I've used it to change and to go to the bathroom in boondocking situations where there are no trees around. I keep all my shower toiletries in this backpack that I have readily available to take into Planet Fitness, where I primarily shower. I keep it fully stocked, and of course I always remember to pack shower shoes. Now in cases where I do not have a Planet Fitness around, I have a solar bag that I can use in my pop-up tent to rinse off. I leave the bag on top of the car during the day where the sun warms it up and I'm able to take a nice warm shower after a long day of hiking. I keep all my clothing in this trunk organizer I purchased off of Amazon for about $25. This is able to hold all my clothes ranging from summer to winter gear, as I never know what the weather situation I may be stuck in. I also keep a variety of hats and scarves to keep me warm in the winter or to block the sun in the desert. I try to be prepared for any situation while also packing minimally. There is a fine balance to that. I also have a second trunk organizer that I keep under my clothing one. This contains all the miscellaneous things that I do not need on a regular basis, like backup toiletries, random kitchen supplies, bug spray, and sunscreen. You get the gist. These stack on top of each other right next to my bed which works out perfectly as I have access to my clothes right when I wake up in the morning. And they are small enough that I could see out my back windshield just fine when I'm driving. 
Now I keep my towels, socks, and undergarments in this additional storage compartment. And this fits perfectly right along the back of my front seats, but I could also move it whenever I need the extra room. I keep a folding chair under the front seat as well that I could use whenever I need a break from the car. Although I do end up working out of the back of my car as well, although I prefer to be outside. To keep my devices charged regularly, I have this portable battery that I can charge as I drive. But when I am stationary for a while, I have this 60 watt solar panel that charges the battery as well whenever it is sunny out. I do not have too many devices to charge, so this small battery and solar panel get the job done for me. Around my car, I strategically keep these water bottles that I refill to stay hydrated during long drives and during the night. I also keep a fully stocked hiking bag available at all times, equipped with bear spray, sunscreen, an air horn, water bottles, and a bell that I could clip onto my bag to let animals know I am hiking in the area. And I have a compass just in case I ever get lost. Then there's the never ending problem of dirty laundry. This annoyance I like to keep out of sight so it goes in the back corner of the car, where it is out of sight and out of mind. But I do need to stay on top of it or things start to smell real quick. The kitchen I decided to store in the front seat, mostly because I ran out of room in the back. I keep a small container filled with spices, the Yeti Roti, which was generously gifted to me, and a small container with all my utensils and cookware. I only keep a small variety of spices on hand, which is hard because I love to cook so much, and being limited in this way was an adjustment for me but it's the only space I have. The Yeti Roti fits perfectly in the front seat and can keep ice cold for two to four days depending on the temperature outside and how often I open the cooler. But this is incredible and I highly recommend purchasing this over doing an ice run every other day. I'm able to stay off the grid for a lot longer with this thing. It is also super easy to open and close which makes snacking while driving very accessible. And this tiny container actually fits quite a bit. I have a fry pan, a pot, a kettle, cutting boards, utensils, plates, and containers to store food. Now, I don't think I'm addicted to coffee, but I do really enjoy a warm cup of coffee in the morning. So I purchased this collapsible coffee pour over cover that works perfectly to make my own coffee on the road rather than purchasing it for $5 at Starbucks every day. I have a camper propane tank that screws into this single burner that I can use to heat up food or water. The setup is super easy and it collapses down which takes up less space and storage. I do not enjoy doing dishes without a sink, so I do easy breakfast like oatmeal so I only have to heat up water. So I'm still able to enjoy a warm breakfast while enjoying all that nature has to offer outside. Afterwards, I pack up, which doesn't take too long, and everything takes its place in the front seat again. A few other essentials are my road map, which is perfect when you inevitably lose cell service in beautiful locations, and the National Parks Guide, which contains information on camping, activities, hikes you can take, and maps of the park. In many of the national parks, you do not have cell service, and this book has been a lifesaver in helping me navigate around the parks. The final problem I had to address was the windows are not tinted in my car whatsoever. I feel like I live in a fish tank, which makes you feel uneasy when trying to sleep at night. To fix this problem, I took cardboard, which I cut to the size of each window, and I wrapped black fabric around it. These stay up against the window, and from the outside looking in, you can't see a thing. This makes me feel a lot more comfortable going to bed at night and leaving my car alone when I go on hikes. I did not want people to be able to look in and see that I live in my car, so this solved that problem for me. 
when I'm driving, these fold up and go right behind my pillow, so I have them available whenever I'm ready to pull over and sleep for the night. However, I did purchase one for the front seat, which also has a reflective side for the hot days, and a black side for privacy. This unfolds and straps around the rear view mirror and is held up by the shades in the front. And last but not least, I keep a clip my grandmother gave to me when I was 16 and first got my license. It reads, Granddaughter, you are very dear to me. Please always travel safely. I love you, Grandma. I just wanted to thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Also, I'm always looking for new music recommendations. So if you're able to comment down below a your favorite road trip song or any song recommendations. I'm going through it constantly. So if you'd be able to do that for me, to, I'm also going to have a Spotify playlist listed in the description below. So you could add the music directly to there if you have a Spotify account. And thank you so much. I really appreciate it.